Okay, we're back, and this is the second part to the first video on how to cut the paper on the flipping photo block. I have to do that because of download time. Alrighty, so I've already cut the center and made a cut right here to here, and I didn't go all the way because I'm not sure where the other cuts go this direction. I'm not, not sure exactly where the block is. So I just felt it with my fingernail and I got lucky. <laughs> and don't rake it through the uh, don't rake it through here because what you're going to do is you're going to cut your paper and you don't want to do that because there might be tape under there and you don't want to cut the tape. So on this side, I opened it up and I did I did cut to where the block was, so that one's fine. Now I'm going to go, let's see, and I need to do this one. Where's my other? There, I can feel it with my fingernail where the indentation is for the other set of blocks. And because this one is a little easier, I can feel it better. I'm going to stick my knife, well, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should try. There we go. I think that's it right there. And then go down. I had to really poke it with my fingernail to find it. And then you probably just go to the end and lift up because you don't want to mess it up. So this should open up like that so that you have two separate things and make sure you mash down on your paper so it stays on the blocks. All right, let me get back to where it was. All right, so remember this was the H cut. So I cut here, 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 and then two blocks in the middle. It's a little tricky. And after you cut the tape like 10,000 times, then it'll dawn on you to use your fingernail to kind of crease it a little bit. <laughs> All right, so you're looking for other places that need to be cut. And right now I'm just gonna do the four papers the two by fours. So you're looking for another set like this to cut only because you the two by four, two by four papers, the large papers, there's two cuts like this and two cuts like this. So those are the two configurations you need to look for. All right, so there's this. Let's do the green one on this because it'll contrast with the red nicely. So this is this cut here. Remember, you cannot cut through the tape. You only go through here and here. And I think the reason I keep repeating it is because I'm trying to remind myself, not you guys. <laughs> you think my paper is a little wonky, but we do the best we can. All right, so like I said, it gets more tricky the more paper you put on it. But luckily, this is here, and I'm doing this so I can see on the end where the center is. And you just drag your knife through here. Let me do the other side. Put it in the crease and drag it this way so that you can meet the other one down the middle. And I am going to go ahead, because it is sticky paper, and um, take off, let me put this back down a little bit, take off two more blades because they're very sticky and it'll, it catches, whoops, it catches on the paper and it makes it really difficult to cut through the blades. I mean, cut through the paper when it's dragging because it's so sticky. All right, so now we have, whoops, now we have the middle cut. Now we need to do this way. So you have no way of really seeing it. So you can feel with your fingernail where the center is. And don't go all the way through the end because you will cut the paper on the other side. So kind of 
drag it and out. So this should work. So now you are looking for another configuration like this, because you're looking for the last one of these. So this is your last large piece. All right, so well, well, let me move this so I don't get crazy. All right, let me put this on here and rub it down. I think I've got it a little off. Hang on one second. Okay, so this is a little bit off on this side, but I'm not gonna sweat bullets over it because this is complicated enough without sweating over the small stuff. Okay, so I have to make a cut down the middle on this one. So I see I already have a cut on this side and a cut on this side from doing another one on the other side. So I'm going to use that for my center cut. Boop. There we go. And now I have to do the fingernail thing <laughs> because it is very hard when you can't see on the other side where the blocks go. I'm feeling here, I can feel it with my finger. I know I'm close. So this is a good way to do it. Remember I told you, you can open it up and look from another side. So I only need to go, here's the, here's the half here from the other side. So I know that this is, I only can do this halfway down here and that's it. And the same with this side, there's the line. And I can only go halfway down because I have to make a straight line down this way. So I can feel it with my fingernail. Well, I say that. There it goes. And I can feel it dragging because of the sticky of the paper. Let me go back the other direction just to be sure that I get it all the way through. I did. Okay. Now I got to do the other one. All right. I can feel that one right there. So I'm going to do this one halfway and turn it around and then go back the other direction. And again, I can feel the sticky, but I'm going to run out of blades. So hopefully this works. There you go. Very cool, huh? All right, so now what we're looking for is, we're looking for the second one that looks like this, because the first one, remember, we had it and then cut it across this way. So there are two that look like this. And then I'll show the, uh, the last two. So let me get a piece of paper for this one. Squeeze them together. Move this up to here because this is your, I mean, sorry, this is the straight cross. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the straight cross. Remember, don't cut through the tape. Only cut where there's no tape because otherwise you'd be sorry. Put this on. Rubber down. And you can see that you have a cut mark on either side over here from doing it this way. So follow that cut mark. And you may have to only go halfway. Just depends. Oh, it went well. So there we go, half across. Ta-da! All right, there's that one. Now, there's two more sets of blocks because you still have two of these left. Let me peel this up while I'm talking. So you're going to look for a certain configuration of blocks for the last two pieces of paper to go on. Well, son of a gun, I cannot get this off. Even with long fingernails, sometimes it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Come on. 
Well, you little stinker. All right, well, I may have to turn the camera off and try to figure out how to get that one off there. All right, so you keep turning your blocks until you find blocks that have no stuff on them. Like this. There's no tape. You will have two sets of these that have absolutely no tape on them. The cut will be this one because you're going this way and this way. On the long one, it was this way and, you know, longer. But it doesn't matter. It's the same kind of cut. So I'm going to use this one because I have it. Mash your blocks together. And try to get this on as neatly as possible. That's easier said than done. Whoops. I think we're a little cockeyed there. Whoa. Yep. See, I'm a little off on this other side here. Let me turn it around this way and try this way. Maybe it's better suited this way. Still just a little bit off. All right, rubber down. And remember, it doesn't matter which way I turn this one because it's this cut right here. So I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to cut any tape because there is no tape to cut. All right, and if you turn it, you see there's a cut in the green. So you can find your center for this one because of the cut on the other side where the green is. And it should go very well. There you go. This one does not have a cut through it. So this one's going to be a little more tricky. But you're lucky because you have a cut on the red. So you can take it through here. And cut it this way. Then turn it this way. And again, you have a cut through the red on the other side. So you can cut there. Just don't rake it through the other paper on, on this side because you'll mess it up. All right, so there you go. There's your four squares. Why are they not opening? <laughs> oh, there they are. And then there's the other one that's the four, the last of the four, because you have two sets of these, remember, because you still have one more of these. And I think I can get this off sometime today before my time is up. Please, please cooperate. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm over here picking this. I'm not <laughs> just trying to concentrate on getting this off. It doesn't matter what I do to it. That bad boy is not going to come undone. Okay, let me shut this off until I can pick this off and I'll be back. Okay, I fooled around with this and decided I was wasting my time. I'm not going to get it off. And so I moved on to something else, stamped another stamp, and ran it through the Xyron machine so we could move on with this. All right, so you place your paper on the last cube, on the last side of the cube, which is the cross cut or plus cut, whatever you want to call it. Put it on. Oh, I got a little overhangage over there. Don't like that. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit and redo it. I don't like it when it hangs over the sides. It makes it more difficult for it to fold and move freely. All right. And because this is your last block, you're going to need to look on a side where you can see there's another cut from another side because it's a little hard to tell. Remember, this is the cross cut or the plus cut, so you don't have to worry about cutting any tape because there is a no tape. And then you can do this one because there's a line right here. You can cut it this way. Get it in there. Oh, see, I'm gonna bend. be careful when you do that because you're gonna bend your paper. I think maybe I don't want to do it that way. All right, so let's try it all in one swoop. I did it with my fingernail. Hopefully that is accurate. All right, so we're going to cut this one here. And guess what? I got lucky. It's about stinking time. All right, so 
should be able to open all of this in every direction. So there you have it. The flipping photo block. Sorry about the glare. I can't change the glare. It's the sunlight and lights. No matter what I do, there's going to be a little bit of a glare on it. All right, so let me... There's that one. This. I trimmed a, lot, a little off on the edge on a different size so it looks like it's not hitting the blocks right. See, so you have fish on one side, fish on the other. Art. I don't know what you call this one. And see, because I did not get the paper really well on the other side from this, you will see overhang in another set of blocks. So be careful when you cut stuff and make sure your blade is really clean and really sharp so that you don't have any of the overhang from other blocks peeking through. And there you go. There is a flipping photo block. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. Anyway, so this is a really cool project. I will link to Julie Finfei Balzer's um, video on this. Hers is much quicker than mine. Evidently, she can follow directions much better than I can. Although she does say in her video she cut the tape four times. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> You can't follow directions all the way. <laughs> anyway, so this is it from Messy Table Studio. See you guys in the next video. Bye.